This next activity is on absolute referencing and basically how an absolute reference always uh, references a specific cell. Okay, this is done in conjunction with the dollar sign symbols. So what it means is if I have a formula in one cell and then I copy and paste that formula to another cell, it doesn't change the columns and rows I'm referencing in that formula, which is usually done in the case of relative referencing. We're going to use this activity to illustrate the difference between the two. So what I'm going to show here is I've got the number 10 here and the number 1 here. And I want to do 10, well, A2 more specifically, times B2, okay, equals 10. Okay, now if I want to do the same thing to all the corresponding rows beneath it, I'm going to do a relative reference by dragging the bottom corner of the formula down to the bottom row. And as you can see, the formula doesn't work. Okay, it's not still referencing the 10 that's here. If I had 10 in all these other cells, okay, the formula would work. But I'd have to type in 10 all those other times, which is a waste of time. I can make it so that the formula always references the 10 here. So what we're going to do then is use an absolute reference. So over here, I'm going to make it so that this formula always references this 10 and times the other values okay, by this 10 here. So I'm going to do equals, and to show the absolution of the actual formula, you use the dollar sign symbol. So dollar sign E, okay, to make the column absolute, dollar sign 2, okay. So now that is an absolute reference of the cell E2, dollar sign E, dollar sign 2, times F2, okay, and we press enter. So now when I use the relative reference method, it's going to acknowledge that E2 is an absolute reference and reference all the values back to cell E2. So it's actually timesing all these values by the value here. So this is extremely important because this value might be the backbone of my whole program. It could be the number 12 and then everything updates accordingly. It could be the number 1254 and they all update accordingly. I just have to change the value in one place, okay, and all values that are linked to that, okay, will be referenced correctly. So that is the use of absolute referencing, where the same cell is always referenced no matter where the actual formula is pasted throughout the document.